Hey folks, my name is Jake White. I'm the owner of Carta Tracks, a mapping business, and I'm also a member of Southern Four Wheel Drive Association. And I've been asked to come and talk to you today about off-road navigation and the options that are available to you today. For a real brief history lesson, let's start out with a man named Stonewall Jackson. Many of you probably remember him from high school history classes, but many of you have never heard of another man named Jedediah Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss grew up in the Shenandoah River Valley of Northern Virginia and had mapped it extensively. It was due in large part to his mapping skills and knowledge of the valley that made Stonewall Jackson the mighty general that he was in the Civil War. A lot has changed in the world of mapping technology since the days of Jedediah Hotchkiss and Stonewall Jackson's paper maps. You might be interested to learn that in 1981, Honda developed an onboard navigation system, the first of its kind, that utilized a series of cards with maps on them projected on a screen. The trouble is, when you got to the edge of the map, you or your passenger had to swap cars to continue on. The two primary options that we have today are print and digital. In the early 1970s, the U.S. Department of Defense made operational a network of satellites establishing the global positioning system. That system was made available for civilian use in 1996. Today, there's a large selection of GPS hardware units available for civilian use. Some of the earliest units made available were the handheld units. Popular brands included Magellan and Garmin. Lowrance was also an option, and they've become best known for their large screen sizes. Mobile devices today now include Android and Apple products, phones, iPads, tablets, etc. There's now also the Magellan TRX, which is a unit geared mostly towards the off-road user and utilizes a nice large screen. Data for these units can come from a multitude of sources today. Those include public sources, online and others, crowdsource data, and also data collected from professionals like myself and Carta Tracks and others. This map, created by the U.S. Geologic Survey of Mount LeConte in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, was actually created in 1964. You may or may not know if this map has been updated or not, and you won't know it until you get out there and find changes that might have occurred on the map. The only way of knowing is to research and find if there's another map that's newer than the 1964 version. In the world of digital map data, crowdsource data can also have its risks. One of those includes the accuracy geospatially of the data as it's being collected. You don't really know how accurate it is, especially in the tree canopy where we often like to ride. There's also the risk that the rider did not utilize tread lightly principles and stay on the trail or on the property they're supposed to be on. The lowest risk available data today is that which can be obtained from professional sources. It's the most complete and accurate available. There's a continuously evolving list of apps available in the Android and Apple markets. Of the many maps available in both app stores, Backcountry Navigator, Gaia, Motion X, Trimble Outdoors, and Trimble Outdoors Pro, Avenza Maps and the Carta Track system are some that we recommend. If you're looking into purchasing a mobile device, primarily for off-road navigation, it's important to consider screen size. Find a screen size you're comfortable with. It's also very important that you recognize that the device comes with built-in GPS. If it doesn't, make sure that it has a Bluetooth connectivity that you can connect with one of these. This is a Garmin Glow. The Garmin Glow works as a GPS receiver, but it communicates that signal back to the mobile device and tells you your location. When considering mounting solutions for your device, you need to look at what you're going to be mounting it to first. If you have a roll bar that you can utilize, this is an inch and three quarter tube. There's a great option out there for a clamp that clamps around that roll bar and it use, utilizes a standard RAM one inch ball. RAM makes a great line of products and those also include the suction cup mount, which is simple and easy to utilize that you can go and attach to any windshield surface and then easily remove it and go mount it in another vehicle. That system includes this X grip, which is great for phones, that you simply attach to the RAM mount ball, clamp it down, and then put the device into the X grip and it's nice and solid. That whole unit can be removed and put in any vehicle that you choose. Mm -hmm.